Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I have a light pink eye makeup tutorial here for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer and apply it all over my skin. So the clear face primer is ideal for creating a smooth base for foundation and they also have three others which is a tone adjusting green. They have a brightening lavender and a radiant glow. Next, I'm going to take my foundation, which I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. I have mine in the shade Medium Honey. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender, and my Beauty Blender has already been wet, so it's already expanded. And I'm just going to apply the drops to the Beauty Blender itself and then start applying it to my skin. I try and dab, not rub, even though in some areas I am rubbing. Um, and I apply more to my beauty blender when I need more. So now I'm going to take my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer in the shade Medium and I'm going to spot conceal since I do have a few blemishes that I need to cover. And then I'm going to apply it to the dark circles under my eyes. I'm not making the triangle because I was just trying to cover the dark circles. And then I'm going to take my little baby green beauty blender which has also been wet already and expand it and I'm going to dab in all the concealer all over my face. So I'm taking my Anastasia contour kit in the shade Banana. I only have this shade, I bought it at IMAT, and I'm going to set my concealer, and I'm setting it with a brush that I got from Serenity and Scott. So next I'm going to take my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer and contour my face, and I'm using the uh, Sculpting Brush by Real Techniques. Now after I do this, I always take my, which is my preferred brush, the e.l.f. powder brush, and I kind of blend it all in because sometimes it's a little bit harsher than I want it to be. So then I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blush in the shade Mellow Mauve. It's more of a, I would say like a fally color, and I'm taking another Real Technique brush in the, in the multitask brush and I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks and then once again I'm going to take the elf powder brush and kind of blend it all together just to blend out any harsh lines. So I'm going to take my Becca highlighter in the shade Opal and I'm going to apply this as my highlighter. I am using a fan brush by Delium Tools. It's the 925 brush. I've been preferring a fan brush for my highlight than a, any other kind of brush for my fingers. So that's what I've been using lately. And now I'm gonna start priming my eyelids. I'm gonna be taking the Mecca Beauty Cosmetics bra, uh, primer and I'm gonna apply it with my fingertips all over my lid. So I'm obsessed with the Trezik um, mini or the regular eyeshadow crayons. I have a few of the mini ones and I love them. So I'm going to be using the shade Marimato, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right, Pink Pearl and I'm going to apply this to the lids of my eyes and then I'm going to go in 
and take the Milani Bella Cappuccino number three and then use this as the crease and for the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to take the Cap on D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I have a little sample size that I'm trying to use up and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. It is a liquid liner. It is a felt tip and I'm going to be doing a winged liner. Obviously, if you don't want to do a winged liner or if you want to use a pencil, feel free to go do that. Do not feel like you need to follow my winged liner. Now I'm taking my go-to mascara, which this guy is, will be seeing its better day soon. It's the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. I also have a little sample size of this. I think I have a few other little sample sizes, but this is my go-to mascara and it makes my lashes super long and super full. I absolutely love it. You do not need any false lashes, at least I don't think so when you use this mascara. I don't do my brows very often, but when I do, I use the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade medium slash deep, and I just kind of fill my eyebrows in pretty quickly. The part of my eyebrow that's closer to my nose, I kind of fill it in a little bit more because it's a little sparse there, but other than that, I don't do, go too crazy with my eyebrows. So now I'm going to take my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Double Dare and I'm going to be applying this to my lips. I'm not using a lip liner but please feel free to use one if you want to. And then after that I'm going to take my MAC uh, primer and I'm going to be spraying it all over my face to set my makeup. But other than that guys, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you do this look yourselves and until next time, bye.